but it's like the uh, yeah, it's like the point. The point of these videos is not really for us to just sit here and like run our mouth, like just run amok on like a plethora of topics, as much as uh, have a conversation. Actually, uh, have people hear what we're saying, and kind of help us progress the conversation forward, as well as trying to get people out there to come towards us in our Discord and the ring. Talk to, talk to us about the different subjects. Right. So, alright. I guess, like, the question for today, the topic for today is, like, how, how do you properly conversate? What is the proper way? How do you actually hold a productive conversation? Because seeing the discourse amongst a plethora of different communities, I'm seeing a... T- a ton of flaws in how they're actually going about having these conversations with them, with each other. You could have a rule set set up for it. I think the first two things I could think of in regard to having a proper conversation is one, being ready to be wrong and letting go to your pride. That could be one rule. Jesus. If you're going to have a productive conversation, you can't walk in with pride at all. No. It's like you can walk in with what you think you know, but right you're right again it's like you have to be prepared to be wrong and there's a ton of people out there these days that just i don't know i don't know when it became a bad thing to be wrong it's like yeah when you're taking a test in school and you get an answer wrong you lose points on that test but the point of learning and the point of trying to grow yeah you're gonna make some mistakes he's like who out there can really say they have it all figured out it should be a known fact by now that you learn more by making a mistake. You learn how to acclimate. Whether it's an action you're doing, a job you're doing, a conversation you're in, a relationship you're trying to uphold, it's like you will make mistakes. You should learn from that, but no, it seems like a lot of people are just scared to make mistakes. Right. And then people start, it's like whenever people think they have the answer, they start trying to find things that will back their answer they start trying to find things that can help back it up so when they say it they'll be more sure but they never bring it's like there are people that never bring up what they found like all right there'll be certain scientists it's like yeah we know the answer and then it becomes why we have the data it's like okay anybody could say that it's like uh, so it's like in order to hold a proper conversation especially when you're talking to a plethora of people that haven't been in the in your version of the world you have to be ready to teach. You gotta be ready to like actually run it a little bit. And yeah, people have a short attention span, but people that really wanna know and people that really wanna progress forward, that's gonna interest them, they're gonna listen. You gotta take time on that sort of shit. It's like what you're saying is like people picking up one thing and just kinda of running with it. It's like, a, like to give an example, it'd be the anti-vaxxers and saying that vaccines cause autism. Oh looking my around God. on Google, yeah, not Google, Google. Looking around on Google, finding just one case where autism happened after a vaccine was administered, and then never look into it any further. No context around it. No, like, what was that? What happened with that child, or anything? All the other studies that kind of support vaccine and how it is helpful. Mm, another random example. Last conversation I got into was with a uh, member of the trans community that was trying to convince me that nothing bad can happen from combining the bathrooms and combining the locker rooms in different <laughs> spaces. So it's Oops. like, yeah, it's like, so I didn't just go find one example. I found a plethora of examples where combining those would not really be the best fit. And the only ones that were recorded ever. Yeah, it's like, and they completely disregarded they, it's like, when, uh, when I brought it up to them, they completely disregarded it. It's like, look, you can't come in with your pride as your shield. You're not having a conversation then. You're having a debate while trying to, while trying to like, push your way through to prove a point that you're not even too sure is completely accurate. Like, yeah, I can understand if your heart's in the right place, but if you have a bad argument, it just paints it in a bad light. Right. So it's like, it's, if people can actually come together, we can have a very civil discussion, actually lay things out and try and move forward, everyone moves forward at the same rate. And eventually... Well, but that's the issue, though. It's like, what if those guys over there move forward with me? I don't want them part of my team. 
Now you look here. <laughs> there are people. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and try and be disingenuous about the point that about the fact that there are some people out there with genuine hate in their heart. But you need to understand the difference between genuine hate and someone just not knowing. And people that'll support you are not gonna always be like you. So you really got to keep an open mind when it comes to like having these discussions. It's like, do you want to progress or do you or not? It's like, you want to be right. <laughs> that seems to be the general mindset. They're but, so afraid to be wrong. They're so dead set on being right. It's like, no, this my religion is the one that is correct. No, my football team is the best football team. It's like, no, my school is the best school. Next, no, oh, my right. my politics are the better politics. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it's come down to is everyone's on a different team right it's, but it's, that's so elementary though it's, it's simple just... it's the easiest thing to go for though yeah but keeping it simple ain't always the best option because people is like you know keeping it simple is trying to, is like trying to pick your favorite color and that don't work in human relations no it's like the person you like hates your color that doesn't ruin the relationship entirely, does it? Say it again. It's like the person you want to like you hates your favorite color. Does that ruin the relationship? Absolutely not, because it's elementary. Yeah. Whatever your favorite color is shouldn't matter. Right. The simple thing. So but simple is the easiest way to go. It's like offering simple solutions to complicated and yeah, complicated questions is the wrong way to go about it. It's like we're trying to find some way to simplify everything because it's just easier. We don't have much time on this world. It's just easier to go with the, the simple solution. I imagine that's where a lot of fault comes from. It's like we don't take the time to like research history, see like where ideas were tried before and mistakes were made. We don't try to take the time to actually conversate with those of a, an opposing opinion. Yeah, not taking the time to actually hear the other side, that doesn't work out well. If you surround yourself with people that are only talking the same stuff you're talking... It's a waste of time. Yeah, I mean, it's a waste of breath, first of all, because everyone's going to be saying the same thing anyway, but you're not gonna you're not really gonna be able to you're not gonna be ready to address what the other side's gonna say and eventually you being around the same like-minded people all the time you can kind of grow in a crazy direction you'll come up you'll start coming up with some wild ideas it's like instead of a tree going straight up you're gonna be growing outwards upwards aroundwards inwards even so I mean okay to summarize and to like bring it, try and bring it back full circle. This is not supposed to be a place where we just sit and wax idiotic about the plethora of different uh, topics and whatever have you. We're really trying to hold a very serious conversation. And but first, we really gotta come to we really gotta come to terms on how to conversate properly. Because I don't see it today. It's just whoever's the loudest or whoever comes up with enough, oh my goodness, cheat code talk. <laughs> is a, I call it cheat code talk because it's like, it's a way to like try and shut people down and shut them out to where they can't speak anymore. Isn't that called cancel culture? Or part of the cancel culture? Yeah, canceling is part, can canceling comes from it. Like, okay, so in order to have a conversation much like a job that you have that has a dress code, in order to hold these conversations, you have there's a certain conduct and a language that you use in order to talk to people. So you might come across someone that's not using that language. What they're saying might hold some, might have some bearings. What they're saying, you know, might actually be something of value. But because they didn't say it in a way you liked it, you tried to push them out the conversation and just completely disregard anything they're saying. That's a bad move. Like, say for example, calling the transgender community trying to go into our school systems and chain and like enforce transgender ideas onto growing children to me that sounds like a cult enforcing their doctrine <laughs> cult and doctrine or indoctrination doesn't sound pretty does it no yeah it's, it sounds 
evil. Sinister, even. Yeah. It's the stigma on those terms, yes. Yeah. But if you look at it from, like, a concerned parent sort of deal, or someone looking at the future of our generation, you kind of look at what is going on in our school systems today, and you're like, this... Is this really the way to go? Are we really going to progress with this? Or is this just going to, like, spin the wheel and get us nowhere? Is it going to shake the wheel off, put a rickety one back on, and be like, this is just not good at all? That's what we're here to discuss. Well, one of the, one of the many things we're here to discuss. Right. It's, uh, so, yeah, it's like... We need people to just, we actually need people to like be able to show up and hold the conversation with us, whether it be on our Discord in the rain, or whether it just be people in the comments section. It's like we will do follow up videos to keep the conversation going. If someone leaves a comment, more likely we'll respond than, than not. It's like the chances are really high that we will respond. On a side note, we are on YouTube. We have videos up on YouTube. We don't mind y'all coming to go to go there, but we do have an issue right now where we can't access stuff on YouTube because of our uh, email account. So well, hopefully yeah. that'll get squared away in the near future. We're also on Instagram and Twitter, but Twitch. it is and Twitch. But we mainly uh we mainly try to hold these type of conversations here on Odyssey and on our Discord. It was like, you know, if you go to Instagram, you go to Twitter, you go to Twitch, it's like, it's completely different content. It's like, these conversations, you know, they should stay here and on Discord. It's like, I can't go to the, I can't go to our YouTube channel, look in the comment section, and then it's like, I just see stuff like people trying to talk to me about something that popped off on Odyssey or on Discord. It's like, we're trying to keep things uh, organized, squared away into different bits. I, like, say, for example, Twitch. People coming on to Twitch and giving out these ideas that would normally be put on Odyssey. It's like, I feel like that's going to be inevitable. Oh, yeah. And we'll address you. It's like, I'm willing to talk about a plethora of things on Twitch. It's like, we're not going to ignore you. Not at all. I'm just going to, like, categorize, keep everything organized so everyone knows where to look for us on certain topics. Or whatever we're doing. Right. So, yeah, this first bit is just us trying to figure out is like the proper way to hold a conversation. When you show up, it's like you have to first, good lord, you need to trade out pride for patience. You need to trade out pride for patience because the conversation, any conversation that's worth having that's actually going to shape anything society wise. Is going to require a plethora of patience and a lot less pride. Especially, especially since we're talking about large groups of people. It's like not everyone's gonna have the same like exact details as to what they want in a certain movement or ide ideology. It's like you know, we need time to actually then the patience to organize these thoughts, these ideas, and to where the majority can agree on it. You understand that not everyone's going to agree on everything. That's just going to be an immutable fact. Is that not everyone's going to agree, but we can all at least get the majority of people on the same page. Make it easier to actually move forward. It's like That would be the ideal. At least in my mind. I'm trying to remember who said it. Said what? There's a, it's like, there's a simple answer. There's always a simple answer to complex problems. Not an easy answer, but simple. I don't know if I buy that at this point with how muddy things have gotten. Maybe it, uh, these complicated questions have just gone too complicated that they need more than a simple solution. But anyway, we're here, and we're willing to walk this out one step at a time if y'all are willing to hear us. It. It's like, if you're willing to show up, have patience, listen, be willing to teach, and be ready to be wrong. As shall we. 
as shall we. It's like, if there's anything we do, is we practice what we preach. By all means, call us out on it if we don't. Absolutely. It's like, let this video be a statement. It's like, be the point in time where we make it clear. It's like, we are willing to be wrong as well. Right. It's like, that's the thing about being wrong. You get to be right the next time. So, here we are. I'm black. I'm bald. And it's this long. <laughs>